Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. My name is Blue Belly and I play simulation games. You see that little question mark there? That's how I feel too. Where do we do? Where do we go next? What do we do next? And I got to tell you guys, I am absolutely loving this series and I just want to play it all the time. I actually was just thinking the other day, maybe just maybe I should stop my other games. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop playing other games and play this full time. Just simply play Banished all day. That's how I feel. Anyways, um, we've got a seed trader here. The seed trader is going to need a ton of trading materials to trade out because seeds are quite expensive in this game so we'll give them a lot and I did notice ta-da we're going to have alcohol in our town eventually so so we can have mead or mold mead I think we'll just go with we'll just go with plain old regular mead for a bit maybe if we get an, a, a, a ton of it and need to do something with it, we can mull it. Mull it. Get it? See what I did there? Anyways. Okay, sorry. I apologize uh, to everyone for my bad pun. It's not even two minutes into the day. All right, let's get that stone while we're at it. What is in here? What did I, what did I build? I built a forester. Great. I think I built two foresters, to be honest. There was another one right down here, somewhere. Yeah? Somewhere down here? I built another forester. Hello, other forester. Well, eventually we'll get to see that <laughs> that other forester. I know I put another one in. I, I do recall that. It was It was a while ago, but I did it. Is it here? So what I don't understand is why did it want me to hire two more foresters? Do I have this one marked? Okay, so one person in that one, one person in this one. But that one's not built yet, so strange. We'll wait and see. We will wait and see. All right, so what do we want to... The livestock trader, I'm going to guess this one can... We can probably get away with a thousand in here. We'll do a thousand in there. We can always bring more in if we need to. We are staffing these a bit more than I typically would, but this is not a typical save. All right, so if you were here last time, we built we built a couple houses for our miners. We've got a tunnel miner bringing us stone and coal and a little bit of iron, and then we've got this tiny mine going straight back bringing us some iron out. We started in the late spring of 12, so we will carry this episode into spring of 14. Now, I know that the temptation with Banished is always a scorched earth policy, right? People just, give me the gather all resources tool, and just gather them all. You know, okay, I don't, I don't actually know anybody that talks like that, but that is the plan. You know, people are just like, scorched earth, let's build the biggest metropolis we can. Uh, that's not actually how I intend to play this. I'm going to continue expanding, maybe not too much, too much more down here, but I think I'm going to bring these houses up around here, and then... Uh, I had a great suggestion on the episode, <laughs> I forget totally what, <laughs> what episode it was, but somebody said, hey, if you're going to build a castle, go for it, right? This, this, uh, this old castle, they said, go for it for the medieval period, let it be a cool castle, and then when you get to the colonial era, just turn it into your town center. And I thought that 
is perfect, right? That is perfect. So I think we're going to have a castle. I think we're going to have a castle somewhere up here. And then I might even, yeah, something like that. I, I haven't made up my mind completely. It's still way too early. We probably won't formally enter the medieval period until we get into the 20s. Kitchen soup, oat cookies, and nut bread. Huh. You're, speak you're speaking my language here, people. This is, okay, we're skipping the soup. But the cookies... Cookies I'll go for. Uh, also, I think uh, you, can, you can be gone. Uh, we're going to drop this down to 3,000 reads so that those other ones can be taken elsewhere. And why are the trade sheep can go to zero? Because we sold that one that we had. We'll probably drop that down to just one person working in there. And let's put in a few more forest houses. Uh, it might be time to start upgrading house type. Maybe. Uh, let's put this one that way and another one there. All right. And I guess it's only fair to give them a road. I love it when it does that like random path because then it doesn't feel so like these you can tell placed by a human you know they're, they're very very intentional but the ones that just kind of scatterbrain along here that kind of feels like somebody was walking to work <laughs> in the morning in the dark with a lantern and they're like which way is it eh. I'm, I'm gesturing you can't see because I don't have my camera on but but uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm getting there through the through the dark. Can I make it? You know, that's how I think those roads were made. Ooh, what do you got for me? This this is a uh, seed. <gasps> of all the things, apples. You're not bringing me a cereal crop, you're bringing me apples. That does remind me, though, that we have a really cool tool here. Um, here. So we've got these regular foresters, and then we have... No? No? Where's the fruit foresters? Oh. Foss and feathers. They have to be here somewhere, yes? A tropical greenhouse. That's something. No, not that. Are you tell? Are you telling me that the foresters are only on Colonial Charter and didn't make it over here? That building's way too modern. Jam, nope. Market barbecue. I mean, nah. All right, we're getting sidetracked. We need, okay, those are orchards. Regret. I have, I regret, I regret my assumption. I regret my assumption. I should know these, this pack better. Medieval. I mean, uh, Megamod is getting me. Just, just killing me. <laughs> no, sorry about that. Every time that, I swear it only happens when I record this series. And every time it happens, I always think, I need a quick button for my mute, and then I don't do it. Mission production. No. Nope. 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 I can't believe it. How did those foresters not make the cut for the Megamon? 
Help me understand, gang. Foresters. I'm not crazy! Here they are. Okay. So let's remember this. Florida Lee funky crazy contraptions and now what we can do this is what I was trying to explain an hour ago see here's an apple forester instead of just planting an orchard of apples this guy or gal whoever works there like we could put this down here and then it would make apple trees so you not only get the wood from the apples trees but you get the food as well very handy. Sometimes I do that as a, as an actual like food strategy. We're doing okay on food in this save, so I'm not worried. But look at this. At apricots, cherries, chestnuts, coffee, figs, grapes. Like if you want to do a specific playthrough, if there's something like you want to trade silk, and so you're looking to do... Um, Oh, I can't even think of the what you need to feed the silkworms. But but if you're like, I want to make fruit preserves as like a main staple, go for it. You know, you can you can really specialize with this. Because the vegetables you can't you don't have any control over what vegetables you just trade for what you get. Uh, now I know you can request you can request certain certain things from the trader but you're still at the whims of the trader uh, now I'm gonna let's see this is here so let's start having these folks grab food wild food around them now, the, those stones will come soon all right another trader more nut bread mussels and seal meat um, you hang tight. I don't want to trade away our reeds if we're getting low because we're going to need them down here. Okay, we have 4,000 in there and we have 1,000 in there. That's a good sign. Do we have... Can we build a town arrival? Or is that only... We could do a, a nomad well. That seems dangerous. Town arrival. We're gonna put a town arrival right. I feel like the whole point of a town arrival. Okay, that'd be okay. Maybe right here. Right here. We'll do that, and that'll give us our our actual stats. But we don't have that much storage that I can't just check it. Oh, that's full. All right. GG. And we have almost a thousand reads there. Okay. Uh, if we have a thousand reads there alone, I don't feel too bad about getting some seal meat. Uh, we don't need more nut bread at this at this current time. Let's go ahead and put in a little bit more storage. We'll put some storage right here, right here for the reeds and maybe let's put in some dock storage that that never really looks like too modern we could do dock no that's houses so small dock store or let's just put this big honking bad boy here right right this seems good yeah let's do that all right I'm I'm so guys I'm so excited for how this place is shaping up. This is getting so good, and it just feels like, oops. The more I play, the more I want to play. The more I want to I want to see how it pans out. Like I want to know, you know. Like how are they gonna survive? How are they gonna make it? Should I put another fisherman over? You know, I, I can't figure out the best way to handle all... The, oh, wrong button, but okay. Three, see, they're 300. It's autumn. They still have a couple more partial seasons to go. Trade ducks. 
Did you ever think trade ducks? That would give us feathers and duck meat and eggs, I believe. So we are absolutely going to purchase two trade ducks. We will get our worker to bring 200 more reeds over, which they should be bringing straight from here. Yep. Where else do we have storage? There has to be other storage. Oh, the town arrival went in fast. Whew. Okay, so we have too many homes for the number of families. That's not hard to figure out. They're not uh, reproducing very rapidly. We haven't acquired any of this yet, but we're working on it. So for production, this is we could we care a lot about this. Right now we're at a deficit, so that is not cool. We did happen to trade for like fifteen hundred or a thousand food here recently, so that is a little bit better. But I'll be I'll be happier when we can be producing more food than we're using for sure. Uh, I like to sort this by quantity. Okay, this is what we want to see right here. This is good. As long as we have trade goods like that, we should be we should be happy. We should be able to keep our community afloat. All right, thank you so much for bringing that. We have eight workers. Oh no, I did it again. Wait, trade ducks I can put in here? But a trade sheep, I couldn't? Does this mean I'm not going to get their products? Like, they just... Hmm. This should be interesting. Uh, we're learning. We're Right? We're learning together. Everyone is learning here. Yikes. Is all I can say about that. If I just spent... I mean, 1,200 reads is not a lot to pay for something that might flop. But what do you guys think of this castle idea? I think a castle, like, right up here. Could, do we have any, like, embattlements? Come on, give me something good. Castle, castle walls. I mean, medieval walls are good. But those are huge. And that's a canal. Hmm. I'm just thinking like like a guard tower, you know? Those are key buildings. Like, okay, I'll give you an example of the kind of thing I'm talking about. Nope. Not that. Here we go. Something like this, right? This is... Oh, the graphics are terrible with all the snow. But something like this. This tower, right? This tower is cool. Do we not have a stone version of that? Because if we put the castle here... I'm just thinking, you know, a few cool towers out on these natural sections there to keep away from the villainous whoever it is that is out to get us. You know, we fled from their kingdom and now we're here making a life of our own. Oh, dude, check out the trader. I love it. The trader's got the coolest hat. I want to trade for your hat. Okay, tobacco. Yikes. So, what in the John Rolfe Raleigh colony are we doing here? Or right, Roanoke, sorry. What, what in the Roanoke colony are we doing here? Do we really want to be... I mean, if we start with tobacco, we can certainly use it as a, tra a basis of our trading. Huh. <laughs> I mean, it's a little early. It's a little early for this. What we want, we want like potatoes and onions, like early domesticated crops. That's what we want. T curing tobacco leaves and selling them when we're in the pre-medieval era just doesn't do it for me. I just can't. I, I mean, I, I want to stay true to survival, but I also want to stay true to what we're trying to build here. Oh, we've made a decent amount of mead. That's good. That's good to go. This is kind of cool, having three of these. We're getting quite a few traders coming through. Uh, that could either make 
the gameplay really entertaining or really annoying. So let me know how you feel about that. If you think it's just too many trading menus, uh, I can try to speed that up or skip over it somehow. 3,600 food isn't terrible, but we need to keep doing this. We just need to keep keep doing this. Might even extend out a little ways. All right, what do you have here? Steel tools. We're good on tools. Hardwood, iron ore. I mean, we don't need to do hardwood and like fancy furniture until the colonial era. So I'm not worried about that at all. Iron ore, I'm pretty sure we have a decent amount of. Those carbon steel tools, again, just feel a little bit too anachronistic. So we're going to skip on that. All right, here we are. We made it to the spring of... <laughs> I keep wanting to call it 2014. It is not 2014. It is Banished 14. And... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm excited for these new traders. So I'm going to snap a shot of this and wish you all a good day. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now, everyone.